So uh, in the part of your uh, educational research is what are the things are that we have to discuss. Now change can emerge, act as a uh, catalyst and build and build the sense of humanity. The process of change may not be embraced by all. Conflicts are a natural part of the change process. It means it is not easy. So, but the uh, process of change is not easy. Lot of other problems are there. And uh, conflicts is also there because a lot of resistance are coming. During the initial period, there are a lot of resistance are there. And uh, all these things should be overcome. Change begins with the individual and will not be uh, manifested in the organization until individuals believe in the change and understand the reasons which prompt a change. Because in the manifestation, in any manifested uh, earlier it is written there in the organizations, then it could be declared as a notification that something are going on. So, in that case, awareness programs should be there that you know, all the employees should know uh, what are the changes are upcoming. So, all these things are required to be discussed. So initially, a lot of uh, problems are coming that has to be. Uh, it is not a very easy way. So operational transformation is an integrated process involving people from all levels of the management. Because during the transformations, we have to integrate the, all the things. Where the involvement of the people are very much required in all levels. The process is a top down approach with the leadership preparing the ground for the transformations by communicating all the information related to the transformations process. The middle and the operational level become an integral part in achieving those goals and objectives. Basically, the line managers or the, those who are in the operational are even in the middle. So, so that meet the, all the objectives during the process of transformations are very much required. Basically, the execution is very important. Now, companies normally undertake business process improvement Using there, there are two models. One is the continuous process improvement model, and number two is breakthrough re engineering model. Continuous uh, uh, model. So, there are basically there are two models. Now, we have to discuss about the continuous process. The companies normally, uh, uh, there are breakthrough engineering model and the continuous process. Now here you see the continuous process improvement model where as is where then after that we have to measure some of the things. There's some sort of flow diagram, so what the way it is integrated, connected. Then implement and finally the implement. So this is a process procedures and some sort of model that is short uh, CPI, that is a continuous process improvement model. Now, see the another model, there is a breakthrough engineering model where the changes of this nature provide for your goods and the services. And hence, more companies competing for the same uh, space. Further, the VUCA, that is your volatility, uncertain, complex, and Ambiguous. So, in short, it is a VUCA. The times make the complete the landscape more uncertain with the result of the result the survival of the business itself. 
you can't fit that much. Process the change method. The organizational experience has evident different methods of engineering the processes. Some of the popular methods are business process engineering, time the total quality management, TQM, outsourcing, downsizing. Then uh, the three facts about the change that it is everywhere, that it uh, is constantly present, and the space of change is increasingly experienced by organizations and individual alike. Thus, the managing change assumes significance. It is the methodology that integrates the change and the ability to adapt into the organizations. It is an organized systematic application of knowledge, tools, and resources to change that provide the organizations with the key process to achieve their standards. Now the technological uh, advancement, because what are the reasons? Reasons for the process of change. Why the process change are required? One of the reasons is this your technological advantage, advancement. With the emerge, with the emergence of new technologies, basically CRM, e-business, and the knowledge management. Technology is now considered as a strategic tool rather than an automated automation tool is in the past. As newer technologies, process-based change, change are developed and implemented. The skill is and work which required of employees change as well. So technology, technological advantage is one of the reasons. Another, another part is the, the, the growing trend for the total quality management initiatives. For the employees focus on collaborative attempts to improve the organizational process, to ensure the con continual improvement in the quality of the organization's product, process, or services. Or services. So, overall quality to be maintained and it should be world class. So, this is the another reason for the process. The advancement in the information technology that requires the organizations to because this another uh, purpose is this that is your IT because the IT technology has developed a many form. So be able to develop an IT strategy. The, fully supports and enables the business strategy to develop and grow. Listen to business needs and translate them into the technological requirements. Then make the common database available to all the customer service management, thereby the joining market and the business strategy with data provisions. Use easy assist to a knowledge management approach and technology to turn individual knowledge into company wide knowledge speedily and effectively so knowledge management is another approach this is all i are talking about the reasons for the process 
change. Now, one of the flowchart are what are the symbols? Basically, the symbolic uh, different symbols which are used in. Is there some activity? There is a document. There is different symbol will be there. And your data input outsides. So it may be a triangle, it may be a rectangular, it may be a tapigens. There are different shapes are there. So it is a, a predefined process. And then finally, your start of the process, then finally, and after that, you are the end of the process. So all some flowcharts are there, and that is a symbolically defined. Now the factors that influence the whether the PR is ambiguous. So in this case the, the business process re-engineering, so the business process re-engineering, although it is difficult to provide a genetic genetic advice. On the circumstances that influence whether BPR is advisable, re engineering the business process uh, for re engineering is advisable or not, and organizations can consider the following factors. See, the factors are to be considered. One, is BPR necessary for the company? First, you have to decide really for your business. Some re engineering is required or not. Second point should the organization consider gradual incremental improvements or radical changes? In an in a incremental way, that improvement is required and some radical changes are required. Then only go for the changes because what other things are influenced? Factors. If you feel you know radical changes are required, they have all the sector, every department has to be changed. So drastic change to be taken. Then definitely have to go for changing and this is the influence factors. Is the company clearly how far from me to stay in the competition with the BPA? Another class reason the situation is out for to stay in the competitions. Then also you have to prepare for BPR. Then are there any conflicts in the use of this approach in the organizations? Within the organizations generally, if any conflicts going on or exist, persist the conflicts. So that time this type of approach, change the approach you have to have in your organizations. This BPR is advisable. Are the communication channels clear and structured? So you have to see in your organizations which of the factors are influencing if you feel the communication channels is not good? What are the way the communicating the people or hierarchies? Some loopholes are there. Some lupuma, I mean, this is not notified timely. People are not aware of all these things. So not communicated each other interpersonal relations in terms of your communication is not good. So then definitely have to go for BPR. Does the company have the process which needs redesign urgently? So this is also a factor. If you feel that redesign is required, so you have to go for BPR. These are all the questions, basically the uh, influence factors which are to be Discuss uh, 
within the group, within the management itself, and during the meetings, and decide if the DPR really required or not. Are the IT levels supporting and the capability sufficient to support DPR? Information technology, whatever the there, different levels are there. Is it really supporting or not? Or some problems are there? Or the that type of capacity or capabilities are not not sufficient? Then you have to go for you have to take the support of DPR. Culture conducting is another thing. Culturally, organizations are not at par with the standard or not productive because of this culture. So then again, you have to go for DPR. Now, challenges of the DPR approach. What are the challenges when you are going for the with the business process re-engineering during the, that process, that type of approach, what are the problems that are in? So for, what are some of the common problems with the VPRs are the process simplifications that the organizations attempts in common, but true VPR is later and spirit is not. So this is one of the common problems. So that means some sort of sprint is required and process should be simplified. Simplification, I mean simple type. Another common problem is that is your DPR may not yield the expected results. If the desire to change is not strong enough. So some design has to be created, some design has to be created. Yes, we require some change. In once Support is required in all levels. Then only it is there. And suppose the, the expected results are not coming. What are the BPR is not nice there, but see it is not Because we are no willingness. Strong when my mindset is different. So this is another problem. Another problem, the starting point for the existing process to be changed based on the audit results that that acquire after the engineer. So this is also one of the things based on the audit results, what are the loopholes? What are the changes are really required, then you go for re-engineering. Otherwise, if you if you start re-engineering without any conclusions, then it may be create a problem. Most process changes fail as the organizations think of changing them till they become optional. It has human natures. Ultimately, unless these things are going on, I mean, the some particular machine, it will be some of the machines. As long as it is a operating conditions, even though the, the expiry date is over, company are reluctant to change this equipment in urgent basis. Most of the cases, even though some of the things are obsolete, Still, the in the thing process are delayed. Some of the things are or con they are continuing the same things. So sometimes because of that, the process change are failed. So this is one of the area. A problem to carry. Another common problem is this is that if the process under review is too big or too too small, the organization postpones the BPR initiatives. So initiatives and the process should be simplified. 
uh, review is required so that the process should not be very long time or not very short. So should be in a reasonable time, reasonable uh, initiatives are required. Otherwise, uh, the organization postpones are sometimes are clearly wrong. The cost of the change when it is appears to large market, large, uh, large makes the organization rethink about the nuclear. So cost is one of the factors. Problem. Because if it is a very too large, huge money is required. So sometimes the management are rethink for, for the nuclear. They are saying, okay, no problem because there's enough money is involved. So, range nearly is not required. This is the way they keep silent. They not go ahead these approaches. That means they are not, this type of problem is not required. One of the challenges that might crop us is when the BPR is seen as an isolated activity. Some of the things that the corporate that HODs are thinking management are thinking, no, 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 it is not a good idea at the right time. So, as well as the things, this activity is not very much required right now. And that, what about the process are not aligned with the business objectives? Always it is in an isolated way, then it's created, that is uh, some sort of a challenge, problems. It means, Whatever the process, change process are there, uh, should be aligned with your objectives. So, organizational uh, experience also demonstrates, but PPR fails because of the uh, because of the market allocations of resources. So, this is all our the common problems. Poor timing and the planning implementations also delay the entire process. So timing is also an important thing. The organizational challenges lies in the keeping the team and the organizations on target. Sometimes or maybe the uh, quite often the gradual and incremental change might be better. Problems might occur when the BPR is culturally biased towards the US way of thinking. So, this is also uh, think about it country to country, location to location, it is change. They have to see their local uh, employees concerned, uh, it should be in terms of your, in case of your local things. So, don't bias with the US. But the way the events are doing. So that time can be create a problem. So now avoid the failures. How to avoid the things? So to avoid the failure of the BPR process, experts recommendations. What are the experts recommendations? So now here are the, some of the recommendations. We are talking about some of the recommendations, some of the conclusions, solutions. So BPR must be accomplished by strategic planning, which addresses leveraging the IT as a competitive tool. Number two, place the customer at the center of the re-engineering effort and concentrate on the re-engineering fragmented processes that lead to delays or other negative impacts on the customer services. A sense of ownership should prevail throughout the organization and not driven by a group of outside processes. Number four, that is the process teams must be comprised of both the managers as well as those who will actually do the work. That is a very important thing. So team, the process team should be combined 
or should be included or comprised with both the managers and really those who are actively uh, involved or doing the job for this process. They are already assigned the position. The IT support is crucial and hence the IT group should be an integral part of the engineering team from the start. So when this process will start, IT members are to be involved throughout the day, throughout the time in the process, from starting to up to the finish, because they are the key, key persons, IT groups. Team and the process owners must be supported by the top executives. So some interventions are required, top executive interventions are always required. Their guidance, their leadership, uh, their support are always required. Who do not leave or retire when the process is on? Suppose for these processes are two years or three years, that process are to find. So leaders or those who are the team, top executive to be involved or responsible, they should at least two to three years should be there. They should not be retired in between or not don't take the leave itself. Keeping in view of the more successful uh, big, uh, contributions. The BPR projects must have an action plan with a clear time frame, ideally between the three to six months, so that the organization is not in a state of limbo. BPR should not ignore the organizational culture and the must emphasize on the constant communications and feedback. Now coming to TQM, total quality management. So total quality management is a management approach that oriented in the 1950s and became popular in 1980s. It is a, it is a philosophy which applies the uh, equality uh, equally to all parts of the organization. The simple objectives of TPM is do the right things right the first time every time. This is one of the slogans or quotations. It is a foundation for many activities which include commitment by the senior management by all employees. Number two, customer focus. Three is your reducing the cycle time for successful degree. Then you are just in time demand for manufacturing, development of teams, reductions in the product and the service product cost rates, systems to facilitate it, development, ownership by the line management, empowerment and the, and the improvement of employees. Challenges, goals with the measures and the benchmarking, focus on uh, process and improvement plans, specific incorporation of the strategic plan. The plan number is very important because in the strategic planning, what are the things are specified that has to be incorporated. Now some of the principles of the TPM, the key principles of the TPM are as follows. So what are the key principles? The management commitment, then employee empowerment, fact-based decision making, continuous improvement, customer focus. So all are the principal key points. TPM is concerned with the continuous improvement uh, leading to uh, excellence in the organizations, in all the elements of the work. Another point is successful implementation of TQM requires this total integration into the day-to-day -day operations. So what about the day-to-day -day operations? There, the implementation is very much 
the organizations also should take steps in managing the transition, keeping in mind that TQM is purpose driven, leading to excellence. So, during the, uh, in the management by the uh, transitions, that you have to clear in mind that TQM is one of the driving force. So, you cannot ignore or you cannot compromise the things. What are the barriers? Now you see the, what are the barriers to implementing the TQM. So during the implementations, what are the problems arise in respect to TQM? Lack of definitions of work. Lack of formalized strategy plan for change. Lack of a customer focus. Poor communications. Lack of real employee empowerment, lack of employee trust in senior management. The view that TQM is a uh, quick fix is not like this. It's not a quick fix. Drive for short time financial results, organizational politics. So, these are all are the problems. I think this is some of the barriers. Implementation of now coming to downsizing. Downsizing is a process in which the companies remove the temporarily or identifically a number of employees from their payrolls. So it is a common phenomenon. We have seen the worldwide in India also. So downsizing is now is a very common word. Job card, uh, then no job, remove from this company, uh, uh, employment, employment curtail. So all these things are we are now aware of all these things. So it is an extremely difficult exercise in organizations to reduce the manpower to or some cattle, they are paid payrolls. It's very difficult task for as an HR process. It taxes the resources of the money, including their business acumen and the human culture. The organizational environment is a mix with angry employees who were laid, laid off and the survival uh, syndrome the employees who remain in the organization unless and demotivated. So it is a very difficult thing, difficult way, situations, because employees will be demotivated. They will be in anxious, worried about their future life, survival more things, symptoms. So it is very difficult. They may angry, they can start agitations, a lot of things can be happening. Legal issues. Now, what are the legal issues? Downsizing is a method where the junior employees are terminated fast across all departments in the organization. The action of the organizations can certainly be defended in a court of law. Laying off 10 percent of the employees across all departments on the basis of the seniority can be dismissed. If employees go to the court of law, setting on a reasons for the layoff, they can go for the law and they can fight for this, their right. The managers on the other hand fear that advance notice of the organizational uh, deviations might allow the employees to sabotage the business. This is another issue. Because if you notify these this employees from this department that they are uh, to be terminated or something to lay off from after 20 days or end of this month, their services may not be required. If this type of situation are before, 
then there is a chance of uh, sabotage in the business. That thing is the managers are very much uh, fear of this at the moment in this. So that's why very really tactfully uh, most of the companies they are doing very really, uh, the notice are not sharp uh, in so advance before that they have to discuss and some sort of some sort of indications they are spreading then slowly they have to take these things so that that type of angry or agitation uh, should not build up so to avoid these problems the organizations can address a few concerns before embarking on the path to themselves what they should do identifying the reasons to themselves first of all they have to spread and should be advocate advertise this is the reasons for these the companies conditions decision whatever it is these downsizings are to be taken or downsizings is to be done so have a uh, predefined vision of the company post downsizings and at the same time you have to have some give a idea so after the post downsizings what are to be the new projects are coming or what type of benefit will be there that has to be forecast respect the dignity of the employees and the laws both global and local so these all are the legal issues so we have to have a clarification in the clarification is there otherwise the agitation angry disrespectful sabotage is sabotaging the being used To avoid these uh, problems, the organizations can address a few concerns before embarking on the path of the business. This is all of the avoidance of the. Uh, identify the business uh, business for the downsizing. Then you have clear communication to the employees and encouraging two way communication. That's the number four main things. Respect the employees. That's one thing. Respect the laws also. What are the in the laws given the written compensation money? What about the things? Or at the same time, clear communication with the employees are also to be required. Uh, it should be two-way communication, not in one. Now coming to outsource. In organizations, uh, organizations will have activities which are normally. Are categorized as core and non-core activities. Outsourcing or the contracting out is often defined as the the delegation of non-core activities or jobs from internal productions from within a business to an external entity. We can say that is your uh, subcontract uh, who specializes in such. Activities, just the outsourcing. It is a business decision to focus on the core activity and lower the cost of the to stay in the company. This, this happened because of the to reduce the cost, and sometimes because the that type of expertise is not there. Ah, uh, that's why they have to take a hire some of the agencies and. To perform the jobs, they have to take help of the other agencies because otherwise the competition is there. If you start your own particular things and that type of knowledge you don't have, then you have to create the skill empower employees. Then you have to start these things. Then it may take time. By the way, market will be uh, market demand will be goes up because lot of other companies will come in the market. So, to to capture the market, to retaining the market, uh, and to steady increase in your share market, your share values, so the competition. So you have to have it. Sometimes it is outsourcing or advertising. 
the call center and the PPOs providing in the back in the back end, the back end uh, support that started in the post 2000 period of uh, in India that we have seen. Then after that, your Sri Lanka, China, Israel is considered as the best example of outsourcing that we have seen. Lot of outsourcing that uh, yes, we have seen in other countries also. Now we have to go for some approaches, uh, good best approaches to change. Things can change out of positive alteration. So any change effort the being implemented in an organization. So therefore, the use of team activities to resolve the quality and the performance crisis has become more widespread in the recent years. So quality and the performance crisis are always there. So some of the positive alterations are required to cope up these changes. Uh, and it is effort normally the for the implementation stages very much required. So that's why the group-based approaches are successful in some of the cases. So we have to take as a method, prepare a team for this, that. So there are uh, what the reason behind it first is the growing complex complex complexities. Sometimes in the business organization, there are so lot of complex factors. And to make good and the right decisions. So this is the first thing. Second is second reason is your development, developmental efforts are often focused on the process flow and cost functional teams can provide the better and more needed information. So those one the cross-functional teams mean different uh, expertise, different uh, teams are, as a group, they can better way they can give the information. Third reason is managers believe that if they place people into the ongoing work teams, they will be better motivated and more constant. So People also make uh, ongoing uh, work teams and because they are and together, they are doing all the things. Some sort of team spirit is there. So initiatives and your motivations will be more. It should be very constructive also. Fourth reason is decent models for the learning organizations. This is one of the most popular incredible because in India and not only the India, other countries everywhere is given a more trust, emphasize on these things, the learning organizations. So further entire details that team are natural ways to gain and flexibility because the teams should learn properly and implement. So this is the way it is gained and a lot of other flexibilities are there Finally, the organizations even see the teams as a way of actually quality in the process by making teams responsible for internal quality. Now, uh, I have to go for different approaches. Sensitivity training. Sensitivity training refers to a method of changing behavior uh, through the unstructured group. Sensitivity training this means basically the behavioral changes in unstructured and to this new data interface. It goes by a variety of names such as your laboratory training, where the group of people are uh, locked. I mean, they are in the laboratory shop. They can brainstorming. They can a lot of new ideas. They can discuss. There is no fixed guidelines, no target as such, free and open mind they can discuss. So this type of training, it seems a lot of ideas are coming up. Encounter groups. So this means the uh, conflict or debates, encountering the 
groups. T group, another is a partition process. So T group began to emerge in 1946 and through a series of events and at the new Britain auctions. So it is very successful and that type of approach is very good, but this is still retaining. So T groups aims at what are the uh, aim of the T groups? Understanding one's own behavior and how one's behavior affect the others. Because when you are in a group discussion in T groups, suppose you are arguing or fighting what the way the others are trying to convince you, your ego levels and uh, here you are in the right path or right decisions or not or viewpoints has to be uh, correct or not, what the way others are clarifying the things. So all these things do this process. Through this process, individual can learn a lot and he can modify their ideas, modify their learning. So this is one of the uh, T group, uh, they are very good, very efficient uh, process. Understanding why people behave the way they do. And at the time of behavioral science, behavioral patterns also can be identified. Encouraging one to try out new ways of interacting with the people and the recipients. So what the way you are interacting with the people and what the, how much you are receiving so everything are can be helpful. Then change feedback, understanding group discovery processes, Developing the tolerance of other people's behavior. So, level of tolerance through this process are significantly, significantly changes because those are maybe they are very much egoistic, but even they, when they are in the group, they can learn and realize the things, maybe they are equal level with the softer or maybe slowly it will be both downs. So, under more unstable will be there. Now, uh, it helps the members of the group. So, sensitive training, what the way it will help attain increased sensitivity to their own behavior, the behavior of others to the nature of group development. Another thing, you will achieve more pragmatic self perceptions and greater group solidarity. So, this is one of the Say the surface change, so the realization part can be there. Reduce the, the functional inter, 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 uh, uh, interpersonal conflicts. You can reduce your conflict in a drastically in a certain level, which is indispensable for a better assimilations between the individual and the organization, which is really required usual persons so that they can understand where is positions and think, think thought process so from the individual and from the organization. The, um, the formal group diagnostic so the formal group diagnostic diagnostic meeting allows the group to be his own uh, pretty in order to identify its strengths and the problem areas. It encourages every group member to contribute and generate ideas. So in this dynamic meeting, everybody should speak up, debate each other, conflict each other and contribute the things. So it will uh, generate the new ideas. Data collected during the meeting start the foundation of the future actions. And after the outcomes of the discussions, after the conflicting, debating, what are the things, commenting each other's. So finally, the it will give, give some of the uh, good uh, future actions can be taken up. Team building activities. A team is a group of individuals 
uh, who came to work interdependently to satisfy organizational as well as their own individual objectives. And according to Rele and Jones 1974, this is the teams as different from other groups are characterized by how we have to differentiate or characterize by the reason or the charter of the work working together. Interdependency where the skills, abilities of the individuals are mutually supported, then commitment to and the belief in organizational and the working together, then accountability of their performance. So in the last point, that is your accountability is very important. That is, can be, so based on this, you can characterize the group individuals. Now, are coming on the time. Group based approaches, what are different types are there? The type one is the simple problem solving focus. Internal blocks, the lack of training levels. First level, what teams, the example of quality as a quality circles. So this is the first first type. High type that is your type two. Like the goal, the problem solving and saving of ideas focus. External blocks, the lack of empowerment levels, management teams, examples, and top management teams. Now, the third type is the integration in structure and the setting ground rules focus. Focus on these things. There are the internal blocks, basically. The original structure level, first and the middle level example that is the cross-functional teams, low and the, there is a low and the low membership uh, fluidity high. So there is some sort of combinations up there. Then type four goal is the creative uh, problem solving, solving, and the implementation is focus on the strategic blocks. This is all our this is the basically for the strategy part. Preparedness, preparedness levels, all levels that is a sunrock team. Then your uh, quality is the concept of uh, your quality circle are organized in the Japan and was originally known as the quality control system. Circles. So quality circle is a small group of employees from the same work area performing similar work who volunteer to meet regularly one to one and for one and uh, half an hour each up to company time. So quality activities uh, may be helpful to the organization in the following ways. Contribute to the improvement and the development of the enterprises, respect humanity, humanity and the build a worthwhile Live, uh, to live in happy, bright workshops, exercise human capabilities fully and eventually draw out the infinite possibilities. Basically, quality setting is aimed to help out of the way you have to help to the others, voluntarily, or you can slot a time of an hour or one hour, you have to go for the other department or other colleagues. And what are the skills you have, you can help them and then you will be, uh, create a uh, environment. And again, it is a, in a daily basis or weekly basis or in the evening or uh, quarterly, what are the way uh, fit for the policy can be done. Cross-functional teams. The cross-functional teams bring together the knowledge and the skills of the people from various work areas and identify the solve manual uh, mutual problems. In other words, the specialized uh, from the different areas are brought together and put in the team to achieve their goals. So quality activities uh, may be helpful to the organizations in the following ways. 
contribute to the improvement, respect to the humanities, and the, your exercise the human capabilities, all this. Then self uh, uh, manage work teams, the SMT. Are defined as a group of workers who are given administrative outside oversight to their tax domains. Administrative oversights involved. And these jobs are normally performed by the managers. They are also referred to as a semi autonomous uh, team. The impact of the self or uh, your uh, managerial teams are enormous. So, so by the introduction, uh, introducing the self uh, self managed teams, the typical manager managerial we are there. So the flutters flutter organizations. Now we have to little bit the evaluations part is there. Evaluations are very important. The effective evaluations on the on the promotion of the change needs a systematic collections of data. You have to collect the data and then sequentially have to evaluate it. It cannot be certain uh, for the change interventions and your so managing the change is not any easy process because you have to have a, uh, a good knowledge for that, to know about the success and the failure, both the case interventions, and which will have the benefit for the assistance to the law and the managing changes. Process and the context evaluation, evaluations prior to carrying out the intervention process, so current status has to be known, they explain the organizational changes, need to be brought out. And the study should be carried out subsequently with the intervention assistance. In the evaluation research, we have seen it commences with a clear understanding by the persons undertaking the evaluations of the actions or the activity that is needed, which are to be evaluated. Then, some of the uh, flowchart is given the evaluation research, initial actions, the determinations, and then uh, this way, uh, changing the interventions. And some action research research are there about of these approaches. Then clarity of the purpose, strategies are there, are there. And then your uh, some of the flowcharts are diagram is there obtaining the data. And then after that, this is the way it is published. Okay, thank you very much. Now start.